Okay, so let's um can you see can you see the dirt all over this record? I hope you can see it. There's dirt all over this record. So let's start the turntable spinning. And first let's use the uh let's use the leaven brush. This is the expensive goat goat hairs brush. Let's see what happens. How much dirt it picks up. Let's see. I don't know, I still see a lot of dirt on the record. Now let's try the brush that uh, that Acoustic Sounds sells. I think that's picked up more. Let me just stop it now. Let's see. There's still a lot of dirt on there, you know? It hasn't done much, of, neither one has done much. You can see there's dirt. There's a lot of dirt. Uh, neither of these is doing much. Well, actually, look, this is this is getting it all, doing a very good job of getting it uh, in one place. See that? See that line? It created, it, there's a line. Now you can sort of move that off. The problem is getting that last, getting that line off. Okay. But it, it does do a good job of organizing the line in one place. And let's see how this brush does now. Does a pretty good job. Now let's try the carbon fiber brush. Of course, the platter should be spinning. Ah, that seems to get. That seems to. That seems to do the best job. I think. So let's see. So the best way to use these, any of these brushes, by the way, is just barely touch the surface. Now you notice there are two sets of brushes on this, so you touch the outer one first. Then you transfer the dirt to the inner one and then slowly move it off the record. And it's much cleaner now. Let's see what residue is left that we can pick up with this brush. Well, I'll tell you what my my opinion is that this is the most beautiful brush, no doubt about it. It is beautiful. This brush, uh, not as beautiful, and I'm not sure it's as effective. It seems okay, and I think the best brush is the carbon fiber brush. That's my conclusion. I'm sticking with it.